What's up everyone? Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video here talking about your base power settings. Uh, this is gonna apply primarily to top con receivers, uh, what we're talking about here, but many other bases, uh, you can set the power output of the radio. Um, so today I've got a set of Hyper V's, just cause I still think they're one of the better receivers out there. Um, had great luck with them over the years, but uh, and still I got a lot of them out there running around. So. If this applies to you, especially these got external batteries that, you know, as they age, tend the batteries get weak and so on and so forth. Uh, we can change, that's a one watt radio that's in these. We can change the output of that radio and help try to make these batteries last a little bit longer and, you know, take a little wear and tear off the, off the radio itself as well. So what we're going to do, I'm connected to the rover right now. We're going to disconnect from there. So if I go into my GPS base station setup. So I'm just out here, this is a little site that I come around and mess on. So we're just gonna go through these, these settings, no big deal. So when we get into this, yeah, sorry, I've got this director's mode turned on. So you guys are looking at my face, I'm just kind of trying it out. I get my hand off the speaker here because people always complain about the volume, I'm trying to be better. All right, so now I'm gonna connect to my base. So you can hear it talking to me. I like the speaker, some guys don't, I get it. Take just a second here to connect to the radio. RTK lost. So I lost. So on here, you can see I got frequency, all that good stuff. What we're looking at down here is power. So I've got this one set at 200. I've been testing it. I just went about 2,000 feet away and down in a detention, you know, uh, with a bunch of houses and stuff in between, thing linked right up. So if I got 2,000 feet either side of the job, that's about a mile of coverage there out of 200 uh, milliwatt. So if you look here, 1,000 milliwatt is the one watt. So you got all these different settings. I typically don't run it below 200, but I mean, if you're doing a bunch of small sites, you may be able to get away with 50, 100. I really don't know. My, my test is just set it and go to the extent of your job. And if you're getting good corrections, then sounds great. But theoretically, 200 is a fifth of a thousand. So I'm not going to say your batteries are going to last five times longer, but I think at least we'd get two to three times the life out of them um, utilizing the lower power setting. So all you do is just select that. Like I said, I typically stick with the 200. Um, and we're just going to hit set. And it shouldn't change a dang thing about. Um, how your system operates. Get the base started back up. So you can see the rubber goes fixed right away. Connect to it so that we can see that. Bluetooth connected. RTK lost. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, work on this director's cut. You guys are like looking at my nose hairs. So I'll go through here. Should initialize. RTK fixed. There we go. So now we're fixed. So yeah, just something worth trying, guys. If you're wanting to get some extra battery life, you can do this on the VRs with the internal. You can do it really on any of the. This is through Pocket. Um, I'll have to get my magnet out, and I'm sure you can do it through there too. I'm thinking about. It. I know I've done it in Carlson. A lot, of, a lot of receivers will have just a high, they'll have a, you know, like RTK output or base output or something to that degree, and it'll just say high or low. We don't really know what wattage that's at, but, you know, just a setting that is worth playing around with, my opinion. If you're doing a lot of job sites that are, you know, the uh, smaller commercial sites, you know, 10 acres or something like that, I don't see any reason to run the one watt radio uh, setting. You're just going to utilize more battery and more heat from the radio, so... Give that a try. If you got questions, as always, leave a comment. I do my dangness to get to them and answer them. So I hope that helps with uh, just a, another quick little tip. Uh, you guys have a good one.